summer lights and nights Every week another nightfall, a never ending fight The facts that have to fall in it, even the cabal One by one to get a reward, he had to kill them all He's the luckiest guy on destiny Animals! It's your boy Hype and this is the luckiest guy on destiny a series where we do a nightfall reward recap and show you what we get for all three characters on that week's nightfall and this time around we were going up against Tanix. and as usual we're bringing you in on the final fight and also each time around we have a new topic and a chance for you guys to chime in and be featured in the following luckiest guy here's a little recap of what we got last time around we got the truth an exotic rocket launcher does void damage. Things an absolute beast. Already have one. And we got one of my least favorites, 11 strange coins. I hate when they give you strange coins. You can get them from the weekly heroic. And lastly, we got the icebreaker. I've gotten quite a few of them along the way. So let's see what we get this week around. And I'm really, really hoping for some good things man and I really kind of hate how they just keep the enemies coming after you have already completed the nightfall but if you got your hunter you can just go and viz and they can't do shit but here we go here's the roll hoping for something good boom got the Thunderlord it's an exotic, I've been getting a couple of them as of lately, but it's an exotic, so it's one of the best rewards you can get, in my opinion, is an exotic. But, broken down, that's going to be an exotic shard, and hopefully the Taken King offers something with exotic shards, because i am got a whole bunch of them, man. And I would really like to be able to use them, as opposed to them just going to waste. But there's the Thunderlord, some of the upgrades and what it looks like. It's a beast. Really is. It's a beast machine gun. I like it. Got a few of them. No need for two. Running out of room for the inventory. Even though the Ticket King is going to be coming with, from what I'm hearing, a lot more vault space. And I cannot wait. We're just three weeks out. And here we go. Bring you in my second character around. And this was with my Warlock. And... Last time around, the topic was for you guys, a chance for you guys to select a topic of your own, and it didn't have to be about gaming, it could be about whatever you want it to be, and don't get discouraged if your topic wasn't chosen this time around, I'm going to run with it for the next few series, so if it's not here, check next time. We got one from Grayson, he says, favorite type of enemy, Cabal, Hive, etc., and Elaborate on that a little bit. Just don't be, oh, mine's Cabal. If it's Cabal, what type of Cabal? If it's Hive, what kind of Hive? Would it be a Knight? Would it be a Thrall? If it's Fallen, so on and so on, whatever. Just elaborate on it. Choose one from, you know, that category or whatever you want to call that. And uh, my answer will be revealed in the following Luckiest Guy. And also I'll have three um three chosen from you and also the new topic on the following luckiest guy but here's the role boom a legendary ingram and you never know what those things man master raul i mean he has improved a little bit since way back before some of you probably even know but way back, Master Raul, if I would have got a legendary Ingram, I probably would have broke my controller on the spot because I would have known that my chances of getting anything good were slim to none. I'd go back with this legendary and get a rare shotgun or an ascendant energy or something, you know? So here we go. Let's speed things up. We're going to fly back to the tower and talk to Master Raul and see what he's got for me. Could have went to Master Ives, but no different. Boom! Legendary sniper rifle, and 
looking at this thing, it really doesn't have much good to offer. Could have easily um, reforged it, tried to get something better, but you know, I've gotten plenty of sniper rifles, and if I'm going to reforge one, this isn't going to be one of choice, even though it doesn't seem too bad. But well, here we go, third and final character, and this actually was um, a speed run. My first attempt ever at a speed run because, um, I don't know, I just never really did speed runs. I would go nice, steady pace and do a walkthrough and um, a tutorial for you guys. Uh, but someone had commented, Zynergy had commented, um, on one of my vid vids, so I figured, you know, I'd give it a shot after seeing his vid and basically followed his guide. And right here, I pushed him back too far. I couldn't even land those shots. So I lost a little bit of time there, but I managed to get this done quickly, which I'll show you the time towards the end. And it was actually pretty quick. But there we go. Tanix is down third and final character hoping for something good this time and man I just I, we're three weeks out the Taken King is going to be here hopefully some good rewards then and boom we get the exotic boots and I've already had these as well I pretty much already have everything so I'm not going to complain about getting stuff that I already have unless it's just something that I've gotten a million times a legendary or whatever boom seven minutes and 58 seconds was when I got that done one run with my Titan. Not bad. That was my first attempt at a speed run. I, I don't really think it's bad, but there they are. And that's going to about wrap it up for me in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't, be sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, animals, it's your boy, Hype. <laughs>